Just take a few minutes and walk around the table. Speak to the people who are standing beside the table and representing these ministries. Ask them questions about how this ministry is doing. Maybe how it's changed over time. Find out if there may be something welling up inside you that calls you to participate. And I would say as a rector, not just to fill gaps or not just to sign up for things on sign-up sheets, but to take a risk and ask questions in order to ask God what God needs for this community to do. And then as individuals, we follow suit. Finding out what's going on in the church is always an exciting thing. Our vestry, leaders who are asking questions, looking at the different parts of the church and how we work together as a body, places we're challenged and we need encouragement. The 2020 committee asking long range questions about not only where we are, but where are we going? How is the body, in other words, operating together? These are signs of life. The other thing that Paul admonishes is to be a living sacrifice. And I encourage us to consider this next year an opportunity to be a living sacrifice. It's in our Eucharistic liturgy. The words are there for a reason to remind us that it is not ultimately just about us. In fact, the joy that we share, the ultimate joy that we share, is when things get a little scary and we need to depend on the Holy Spirit to guide us in our decisions, in our ministries, and the way we use our time, talent, and treasure. Perhaps God is calling us into a new and deeper relationship this year. So I ask you to take the scripture insert with you this week underline or circle the gifts, review them, just spend a few minutes a day and ask God to show you which gifts rise to the top for you, which ones you feel like you want to use, and then the details will follow. Finally, the word that Paul uses to explain gifts is a Greek word called charismata. Charismata has the nuance of being a gift that is given by God for the purpose of God's community. Again, the gifts that we have are to be shared with the rest of the community, those that we see, those that we haven't met yet, and those in our West County area. I think the most beautiful expression that I can see happening in this church are things like the ministry fair, are things like the different ministries that sometimes serve behind the scenes, and then those that are right out there in front, all together in one room. Once or twice a year we do this. And it's a way for us to understand that God is a good God, generous, and that God's gifts are given to us for joy and cheerfulness and encouragement. Thanks be to God, amen.